Oh, oh, that is one thing I will say unequivocally. Uh, you will never hear a kiss in the Magnus archives because audio-only kisses are the worst thing but in the world. They sound terrible. Like it's not an option. No there, one is kissing. There are, no one is kissing are, in the Magnus archives. Are, are you sure about this? <laughs> no. But I love you. I love you too. Will we get creepy squids or more ocean episodes? No. I mean, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, oceans, no squids. One of the rules right from the start was no tentacles. <laughs> In a second, I was out of my bunk and charging onto the deck just to see veins, dark and cold and bigger by far than any I had ever seen, rise up from the water below us. They towered over the ship for just a second before starting to wrap themselves around it. For a moment, the embrace looked almost affectionate. The rest of the crew didn't seem to notice, walking through the immense grasping tendrils like they weren't there at all, even as the smaller branching cords stretched off and wrapped around each one of them in turn. Do you ever have any issues coming up with names to use in character statements, rather yes. than, you know, reusing... Yes. Everyone you know as a Obviously character. Obviously I do. Obviously I do. Why would you ask that question? I mean, he's never had the name Alex in the Magnus obvious. Archives at any point. Just saying, not once. Statement of Alexander Scapelhorn regarding his evaluation of the trophy room taxidermists in Barnet. There was only one person I really felt myself around. Her name was Alex Brook, and she was a medical student at Corpus Christi. Limited swearing is done for real-world release reasons, but is there any reason for it within the law? I mean, there's no law reason except that the characters we're writing aren't particularly sweary. Personally, from a writing point of view, I 100% agree with Alex that it's really useful to be able to have some linguistic escalation yes. available to you, which is hard when you've got a constant stream of uh, expletives. Okay. No. So, yeah, fundamentally, uh, it is intended as a romance. Uh, it will mm -hmm. continue to be so through season five, though it will not be the focus. It was the focus of season four because it was the emotional core that led to uh, the culmination of the series. Yep. But it's going to take more of a backseat, I think, in season five. Oh, it's... Uh, I love you. I just... I need more time. But you and the one you love, the one you love, this love, the one you love. I'm, I'm in love. I am in love, and I will not forget that. I'm sure I love you. I love you too. Pretty sure we love that guy. I love you, John. I love you too. No, Martin, I love you. I always will, and I know you love me too. I mean, but I love you. I love you too. How's the Admiral doing? Oh, he's, uh, <laughs> you'll see. He's fine. He's happy. The Admiral's having a great time. Georgie, where's the Admiral? He's, uh, he's fine, I guess. He's enjoying himself, at least. He wasn't immune, not like me and Melanie. And he's a predator, pampered piece of fluff that he is. Turns out there's a place full of cats and their prey. Poor thing. I go to see him sometimes. I think he's happy in his way. 